Oh, kindergarten families and children. It is so awesome to be here with you today. Today, I want to show you a math activity that I would like you all to do today on the Math Learning Center website. So I went to this website or you can log in um, on your iPad and download the app, the Math Learning Center app, and it has all these cool um, math activities you can do. And I did a previous video on that. Today we're going to do pattern shapes and we are going to be building and creating and filling in these puzzles today. So when you get to this application here, what I would like you to do is go down here to the bottom left hand corner and I want you today to pick an awesome puzzle. So you can pick any of these cool designs. They're pretty awesome. Today I'm going to pick this turtle. I love turtles. They are so awesome. Then when you pick a design and a puzzle that you're going to try to solve, you're going to be using all of these different shape pieces to help fill in the puzzle. So we have a triangle. This is an equilateral triangle because all of these sides of the triangle are the same length. Then we also have a right triangle here or an isosceles triangle because this side and this side are the same length. This one's a little bit longer though. It also has a right angle right here. Then we have a square. All the sides are the same. We have a blue rhombus here. All the sides are the same length as well for this rhombus. But it can be squished together a little bit, unlike the square. Squares have to have right angles like this. This is another rhombus down here. It's just squished even more. We also have a trape uh, trapezoid here, the red trapezoid. And then our final shape that we can use is the yellow hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have these shapes to use to fill in our puzzle. All right, so I am going to attempt to do that now. When you fill in your puzzle with the shape, you can always move it this direction as well. So I am going to work on filling in this puzzle. I see I can move a trapezoid over here to take to move in this area for his little flipper. And I'm going to do the same thing over here for this flipper. I wonder if all his flippers can be red trapezoids. Let's try it. I got to turn this guy this direction. Looks like it'll fit. So it's like building your own little puzzle, which is pretty awesome. Now in class, we might use these blocks and be able to physically hold them, but on a screen like this, we can get pretty close. When I'm looking over here, I think, hmm, maybe I can fit another hexagon right there. Let's try it. Nice. Boom. Done. I wonder if I can use a different type of shape here. Oh, I wonder if a triangle can fit into these little corners here. Triangle. And hmm, a triangle won't fit that way. What if I turn it? Nice. All right, a triangle can go there. Now I have the remainder of this area that I need to try to figure out how, to, how I can fit in there. Now, let's see. What if I try... Hmm, a rhombus. Oh, a rhombus can fit there. I wonder if it can fit a rhombus somewhere else. Oh, look at this. A rhombus might be able to fit there. Awesome. What might go here? How about another trapezoid? Nice. And check this out. I think I can put a rhombus in there. Let's try it. I have got to turn it though. What do you guys think? Awesome. Look at this. This looks like a perfect shape for a triangle. Let's try this triangle here. Awesome. Look, I have a big triangle left. I wonder how I could fill that. Hmm, a hexagon won't work. Let's see. What if I did Another trapezoid, but I turned it this direction. Hmm, what do you guys think? Nice. And then our final spot there. 
I think a triangle will fit perfectly there. I'm going to need to turn it though. And perfect. Now today in this video, in the description, I am including a pattern block design record sheet. So in the record, in the record sheet, it's going to ask three questions about your puzzle. It's going to say, how many of each type of block did you use? So I need to count all the hexagons first that I used. I used one and two hexagons. So I'd write a two underneath the hexagon picture. And then it says blue rhombus. I used one, two, and three blue rhombuses. White rhombuses, I didn't use any white rhombuses. Did I use any squares? Nope, I didn't use any squares. Did I use trapezoids? Yeah, I used lots of trapezoids. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, and six trapezoids for this one. And then triangles. I count all the triangles I used. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to circle the number that is the greatest on your sheet, whichever one you used the most of. And then you'd put an X on the number that is the least. So that'll make more sense when you can see the record sheet in the description. And you can record that on your own sheet of paper if you want, or you can print the paper and write it all right on there. Now another cool thing you can do here is you can get this puzzle out, and I bet you could try to build it a whole different way. So I am going to restart this whole puzzle. It says, do you want to start clear your work? Yes. And I can try to build it a whole other way. Another thing you can do too is try another puzzle and fill it in with a record sheet as well. So that is my challenge for you, kindergarten. I want you to try to try to build some of these puzzles and fill in the record sheet recording how many shapes you use and what kinds of shapes. Are you up for it? I believe in you. Work hard, friends. Keep it up.